What's going on everybody? This is Tyler Weeb from Pro Physique and in today's video we're going to talk about post-show struggles. Alright, welcome back everybody. Hope you are all having a fantastic week so far. Um, before we get started, just make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Would greatly appreciate it. So, today we're going to talk about uh, something that everyone goes through who competes and something that can be uh, a lot harder than prep actually for, for a lot of people and this is the, the, the post-show struggles. Um, so you compete, you get super lean, you know, it, it tends to be a lot easier um, to maybe make decisions in terms of, you know, not eating something and, you know, I'm going to eat this because we have this goal in mind, right? Like we have this date, we're stepping on stage um, and we're so kind of consumed by that and the process and all of that, that, you know, during prep, yeah, it is hard. Uh, we do get hungry, uh, you know, we do get tired, all, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but the, the, we don't really have a decision. Like we just, we can't eat X because we would, you know, blow out our macros and kind of maybe, you know, get off track with our progress. And so that choice is kind of taken away from us. Um, and it's, you know, such a mental game where we're so dialed in that it, it is kind of easy to, to, to make those decisions. Um, the problem starts to occur when we get into the post show. Anything, anybody that has been through a prep and you know gets into you know postseason can tell you that it is one of the hardest things of the whole process because you don't really have that show date anymore, right? You don't have anything kind of keeping you from eating all of this food, and you know you've been restrictive for so long, and so we have we become so food obsessed, and then you know our hormones, so adrenaline, uh, the, you know the hunger hormone will spike uh, after you know after our, our contest prep so your hunger is very stimulated and it also promotes fat storage as well so you have this hormone that is promoting hunger and fat storage that just shoots through the roof and you're just never really full <laughs> because you are so lean your body wants to put on this body fat to get back to a homeostasis and a and a normal state of being that it's like okay like we need to eat we need to put body fat on and we need to do it now <laughs> and that is a very very hard thing to battle when you have been so restricted for so long and now all of a sudden you have this freedom to to go and eat um, you know, the, the only thing really holding you back from completely gorging is the fact that maybe you just don't want to get fat. But anybody that has been through it can tell you that at some points you do not care. <laughs> You're like, screw it, bug it, I'm getting fat. And you will go eat. It is a very hard process to go through. And so we will have some of those struggles. It is going to happen, right? You are going to overeat, you are going to indulge and you are going to put on body fat. And then that's where that second struggle comes in with putting on body fat. We've gotten so used to being so lean and you know shredded and ripped and looking amazing even though we feel like shit. And all of a sudden we you know we put on 10 pounds, you know, let's say in 3 weeks or whatever. You know, depending on how on how that reverse went, you know, it does happen. Um, and then all of a sudden you feel every single little bit of body fat on you. You just feel like you're jiggling, you feel like you are, you know, fatter than fat, and it's a tough mental battle because, you know, on one hand, you're so hungry, you just want to eat, you've been so restrictive, so you're like, oh, you know, I'm going to reward myself, you know, I haven't, you know, gone crazy in 24 weeks, 25 weeks, whatever, however long your prep was. Then on the other hand, you, you kind of like, you feel bad and you kind of almost hate yourself for, for you know, just eating like crazy. You're like, where did all my self-control go? Like, I just went 24 weeks with all the self-control and I killed it, I crushed it, and now I've got, I don't have that anymore. I don't have that self-control. Um, and you know, I, you know, I was so ripped and shredded. Now I've put on this body fat and I can feel it, I can feel it jiggling, and it's, it's a very hard, tough mental battle to go through. Um, and you know, we don't have really a goal anymore, so sometimes you do get some post-show depression where you know, the, the stage is such a high, um, that afterwards, like you can crash pretty hard with it because now it's like, okay, well now what? Like, 
don't really have a show date in mind right now. I mean, sometimes people do, but some, you know, a lot of people, they're like, okay, that was, that was it. Now what? Like, what do I do? And, and they can lose a little bit of purpose with their training and stuff like that. And maybe that falls off a little. And so you kind of have all of these things kind of coming together, kind of to create like a perfect storm of just having a really hard post show, um, reverse diet or experience that really screws up a lot of people. This is where, you know, you really see a lot of people get into that yo-yo dieting cycle where they'll get super lean, they'll come off the show, binge, because they don't really have a plan post-show, they'll put on 10, 20, 30 pounds in, you know, three weeks. It does happen. Your body fat will, or your body will store that type of body fat that quickly post-show. And then they'll, you know, hate themselves <laughs> kind of seems like a bad way to put it but that does happen and well i gotta diet now because i've got to you know lose that weight and try and get back to the way i look like on stage because that's you know what i really liked and that's what i worked so hard for and but their metabolism hasn't recovered yet and so now they you know try and you know crash diet again try and lose a few pounds but they have to go so low because their metabolism hasn't recovered yet and they'll maybe do it for a little bit they might lose a couple pounds but it's just going to be impossible to stick with and then they'll rebound again. And so you have start to get this up and down and that's where the real danger starts to occur in, in getting into that mentality and that mindset and that yo-yo dieting cycle for years because you're always trying to chase that, that physique that you had on stage. And I think you have to understand, have a game plan post show, right? Say so you've got, okay, you know what? I've got two, three days, I'm going to enjoy all the food. Those two, three days, you're probably gonna be okay. You might put on a little body fat, not the worst thing in the world at that point, um, but you know, have you know that those two days or so, like, hey, like you know what, I'm gonna enjoy myself this weekend, and it's back on track. Um, have a coach, have someone to keep you accountable with that reverse diet process, and but they know what they're doing to help you bring you out of it. Uh, you know, slowly adding food and slowly decreasing uh, your cardio to allow the metabolism to kind of come back into a healthy spot without putting on a lot of unnecessary body fat. Um, and I think the biggest one, and, and I learned this one the hard way, uh, don't have treats in the house. Uh, you think, you you think, you like, no, you know what? I can have willpower. I just had willpower for 24 weeks. I should be fine to have Pop-Tarts or cereal or peanut butter, uh, Oreos in the house. You know, I, I should be able to enjoy these. You know, I practice flexible dieting, et cetera, et cetera. That is a lie that you are telling yourself. You will eat the whole box of Oreos. You will go through half a tub of peanut butter. You will eat all of the Pop-Tarts in one sitting. I did it, it happens. It's hard, it's a very hard thing to do. Me personally, I put on 20 pounds in about two weeks, um, but I was then able to kind of reel it in at that point and everything settled. Um, and now, you know, we're good. So it is going to take time for you to get back to normal. Uh, the more body fat you can put on small amounts, the quicker your hormones are going to come back, the quicker you are going to feel normal. So don't be afraid to put on body fat post show, but do be careful of kind of all those things that we talked about coming together and kind of creating the perfect storm for a, you know, a really bad yo-yo dieting cycle. So do be cautious of that, have a plan, know what you're doing, um, and just be self-aware of, of kind of what you're doing post-show. Um, it's, it's never going to be easy, because uh, biology, <laughs> but there are things that you can do to make it a lot more successful than just going absolutely crazy for two, three weeks, putting on 30 pounds of body fat, and then you're kind of really in a bit of a mess. So that is going to be everything for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Would greatly appreciate it. Um, if you guys just, again, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll talk again soon.